Training module 4.1 Crop Parameters Aquacrop simulates the interaction between crop and soil. Management is considered in aquacrop as well since it will affect the crop soil interaction. The learning objective of this training module is to know the required crop characteristics. This presentation has three parts. First of all, we have to explain the difference between the type of crop parameters. On the one hand, we have conservative parameters and on the other hand, cultivar specific and less conservative parameters. It is the cultivar specific and the less conservative parameters which needs to be calibrated. We call that tuning of the crop parameters. That is explained in part two. Finally, in part three, we are going to convert from calendar time into thermal time. Let's first study the type of crop parameters. In the database of AquaCrop, FAO has calibrated and validated a number of crops. When you select a crop file, AquaCrop loads the conservative crop parameters. These are crop parameters which are crop specific, but they do not change with the time, with management, geographical location, climate or cultivars. And these crop parameters, they are valid for all cultivars and in all environments. So we do not need to calibrate them. Next to the conservative crop parameters, the crop file contains also non-conservative crop parameters. These are parameters which are cultivar specific or which are affected by field management, planting mode, conditions in the soil profile or the climate. These parameters need to be tuned, calibrated to the cultivar or the environment. So when downloading a crop file, we do not need to look at the conservative parameters, it's only the non-conservative crop parameters which need to be tuned. When we are going to tune the crop parameters of a particular crop file to the environment in which the crop is cultivated, we first have to select the climate for which we have field data. So let's select the climate and the climate for which we have field data is Foggia in Italy. Secondly, now I have to select my crop which I'm going to tune. By clicking on the crop button, I get access to the file management panel in which I can display update the crop characteristics of the selected crop or in which I can select or create a new crop file. First thing to do is to select a new crop file. The crop I want to calibrate is the tomato crop. I select it return to the main menu and AquaCrop asks me now the planting date. It is the planting date for which I have field data which I can use in the calibration. Let's assume it corresponds with the 1st of April for the year 2000. As you can see in the main menu, I have a climate, Foggia, and I have a crop, tomato crop, which was planted on the 1st of April 2000. To calibrate a crop, I click on crop to get access to the file management panel. And now I'm going to update the crop characteristics. That is the requirement to tune your crop to the environment. I click on update crop characteristics and get access to the crop characteristics menu. In this menu, the crop parameters are displayed. However, I have selected a limited set. These are only the 
crop parameters which needs to be tuned. The non-conservative and cultivar specific crop parameters. Of course, aqua crop requires all crop parameters, also the conservative ones, but these need not to be tuned. If you want to see all crop parameters, you click on the full set and now you see that there are much more tab sheets in which also conservative crop parameters are displayed. Aquacrop make a distinction between non-conservative and conservative crop parameters. You can see that here on the type of edit fields. So in edit fields, you enter a number. If the background of the edit field is white, then it means it is a cultivar specific or a less conservative parameter. If the background is silver, it is a conservative crop parameters and it is not a good idea to tune those parameters because they are valid for any environment, any variety.